we back. Back from round two. <laughs> it's time we're here to talk about this caliber number, what is three. it, three? Yeah. Three. It's caliber number three. Yeah. Man, I will say this. I haven't been feeling the Excalibur series Me up until this point. I'm yes. like, oh, gosh, magic sleep time. But <laughs> but they done pulled it together. They done pulled one out their ass on this one. It was much better. Yes, it, it was. was. Much, yeah, much, much, e- much, much easier better. read for me, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, we still had the elements of Morgan Le Fay and Camelot and Otherworld and all that stuff. But it wasn't in a way where, like, the magic was just overbearing. Yeah. You didn't feel like you were yeah. reading Doctor Strange. It, it was like, you know, you could follow it. It was cool. I, uh, I did actually enjoy this issue. Yeah. Um, this is what I enjoyed. Richter. Now, I will be honest and say that I have never liked Richter. Richter always has a damn problem. Uh, back in the days, I'll give you a history of Richter. Yeah, Richter right. has a, Richter, uh, basically, when he first came out, he was like, okay, he could cause earthquakes or whatever, right? Okay, so, we, when he was um, back with X-Force or whatever, back in the days with Cable and all the young guys that were the new mutants and they became X-Force or whatever, uh, he was whining. Richter had a problem. Oh, I don't like how Cable's leading us. Oh, wham, wham, wham. I'm <laughs> upset. You know, so it's like, okay, Richter, damn, whatever. So, later on, like, um, I'm, I'm actually in Marvel Unlimited right now and I'm reading the X-Factor series from 2001 in which he was a major cast member, right? And Richter had lost his powers then. Mm-hmm. And... He was whining once again. Oh my gosh, I lost my powers. Oh, you guys don't understand. I was in tune with the earth and now I can't feel anything. I'm sad. I'm going to kill myself. You know, he was all like that. And, and uh, a multiple man or whatever, they had to like, talk about it, killing himself and all that stupid stuff. Yeah, okay. He's just a whiny bitch. So anyway, <laughs> we see him in Excalibur. And what do we see? Oh my gosh, I got my powers and I'm too powerful. I can't even leave the house. I'm going to bury myself in a little <laughs> casket and well, whine and yeah, be a little bitch. Yeah, it starts he off is in, whining. His, in his room and it looks like he's been drinking heavily. Can you see all yeah. the beer bottles or whatever laying around? And he's Seems like he's in distress, like he's just, like he went on a bender or something. Richter is always and in distress. So he he goes outside and he steps on the grass on the ground, and then the earth starts rumbling. I I don't know who Richter is. I just see this dude, and he goes outside. And he walks. He puts his foot on the ground, and they start you know rumbling. Yeah. He was like, I can't even go outside. You know, he's a little punk. Yeah, Richter, he, Richter is in like Richter scale. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, you know, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so. yeah. So, and then you see all these like rocks and stuff in the room, and then finally it looks like he get into a coffin with all kind of rocks in it, like because he was so upset about. Oh, I'm so upset. Because he said right now he can't control his powers. He was sad yeah. when he had no powers. Now he's sad that he got them back. It's like man, come on, ain't no pleasing some people, man. I, and, uh, that, that's that's my main beef with Richter, but I do like the fact that he oh, is Leo. okay. He mind. is powerful. <laughs> Richter is powerful. You know, and you you begin you can see that in this book because it was hinted at a little bit. It was talked about a little bit in uh X, in the previously mentioned uh, X Factor book. He was talking about how he's in focus with Earth. He's like in tune with the Earth, with the tectonic plates of the Earth, and it makes him immensely powerful. Like he can like you know like actually move the Earth if he wants to. He's like mad crazy powerful. So yeah, okay. it's cool that we get to see this. I just would like them to stop being a little punk. <laughs> and um, it was cool. Apocalypse saw his potential and scooped him up. Like, hey, you rolling with us? You rolling with the rush right now? Because you 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 got some powers. Even if you want to be a little punk about it, we gonna we gonna make you a little bit better. So um, yeah, I thought it was cool that they reintroduced him. And you know, if he can get out of punk mode, he might actually be fun. Okay. But so you want to talk about um this witch lady? What's her name? Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay, whatever. So yeah. So oh yeah, divines and stuff. Um, they're dying and. The roots, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she that's what pissed her off in the first place was because the cocoon flowers was, uh, you know, the roots or whatever was messing with was was with in her pool, little her little pool whatever. of magic or yeah. whatever that he like that she likes to draw on for her powers. So she was pissed off about that. That's what made them beef in the first place because she used her powers to try to mess with the gate and close it up so that you know it would, it would kill these little weeds and that's how they got in conflict with. Krakoa yeah, so now it seems place. like is they're overgrown and they're just going everywhere inside the palace or whatever and she was yeah, like why she... is all this crap here and it was like every time we try to take one out more it keeps more come like you know so she can't stop the cocoon rush basically. yeah so she's trying to enlist the help of the girl that killed her team remember that young yeah, girl that little, that little with the chicken, witches or whatever so she's and all that, asking yeah. her for her help or whatever and um to, to, to figure out what's going on. And then we see, um, what's the baby's name again? Shogo. Yeah. Shogo. When and they explain. Yeah, in the last issue, we saw that uh, 
a couple of them went over to um other world to try to uh to try to get um Betsy's brother try to get um Brian back or whatever. Yeah, so Betsy. So uh, yeah, what's his name? the new Captain what's Britain, Ca Gambit, Gambit, and her Jubilee, and, Jubilee, and her little baby, and her baby. Yeah, who we, we saw in the last issue transformed into a dragon. Yeah. So they, but they explained. explained it. Yeah, they explained it. It wasn't because of his mutant abilities, because he's in a place of magic, and because, and because he's a child he the with child such, his such imagination. A, such imagination, he could take whatever form that he, you know, because he uses wants the fairy's he, power. Yeah, which okay, yeah, I, yeah, I, I get. I get it. Have, it's like yeah, he got fairies, suspend belief, right? which I, which I understand. It's like he's a kid, and kids have all these wild imaginations. Yeah, so when he went right. there, it was just like poof, I'm a dragon now. I'm a dragon. I get a dragon. I get a dragon. I get to be the dragon. Yeah, his imagination, he could turn to you know whatever he wants to. So that was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I thought so. I thought so. Well, and so then what they do is they go and they're like, okay, we're going to squab to get uh, Captain, Captain Britain, Britain back, or whatever. Yeah. So, and what was cool was that they're trying to protect Shogo. Shogo, yeah. a big ass dragon. Yeah. Like, protect a the body. Breathing. Protect the fire body. It's like dragon. It was a cool light in there. I think that um either Gambit or uh, or or uh, Captain Britain, it's hard to call her that. It, one of them <laughs> said it. They were like, they were like, Man, he has scales and he breathes fire, dude. Yeah, we need to use we him. We need to protect they, him. They, yeah, you know, because they were going to... they was getting they, lit they up got, Yeah, first. they were getting... They got into a fight and they were like, dude, you know, I know we said we were going to protect him, but he's a dragon and he breathes fire, you know, shoots fire, and he got all these scales. He was like, and we about to die. Yeah, so, they was getting lit. They were, it, yeah. Things were not going well. Yeah, so they went ahead and asked for um, Shogun. What's his name again? Shogun. Shogun. I don't know why I would have called him Shogun. Me too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, help us, help us. Yeah. So he started blowing fire and, you know, yeah. he, he made it up. Yeah. He made the battle go in their favor more. Basically, And they get yeah. to roll. They, get, they got to ride on the dragon. <laughs> we're going to ride, ride the, the dragon. dragon. <laughs> the, the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought about, too. I was like, man. I did, too. That was you know we have mind. kids. I know, right? Because Teen Titans in that episode What's with it? the dragon, you know, we could not get that crap out of our head. And then we see them riding the dragon. I'm like, oh, we're going to ride the dragon? <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Teen Titans had an episode where they were playing Dungeons and Dragons, basically. Yeah. And their whole thing was they wanted to they play wanted so they to could ride, ride the, the dragon. dragon. Yeah. So <laughs> that was their big thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was yeah. their little song. Yeah. So they anyway. rode the dragon in here. Yeah. So they rode the dragon or whatever. And they went to um to um, try to rescue Captain Britain. But lo and behold, Captain Britain, I guess because he's under what's her name's spell yeah. or power, he wants to kill his sister. He was like, she's an Mor imposter. Kill the imposter. Yeah. Mor Morgan Le Fay got him good. He, yeah. He's, 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 yeah, he's, he's gone. gone. He's, he's, gone. The, he's yeah. the Black Knight. He's yeah. like... You know, all black and squabbing with a big ass sword. Yeah, you know. So him and his sister nah. and all yeah, they you and, know, they get yeah. to fighting and that's when that's when they asked for the help from Shogun because they were losing, like, dude, we gotta we gotta yeah. get out of here. And uh and and they couldn't they couldn't sway him. Yeah, they, they couldn't, couldn't sway yeah. him. Which was kinda sad because you know yeah. it's her twin brother and everything, yep. but she couldn't do nothing for him. They yeah. ended up having to have to leave. Yep, they had like, to leave man. him behind. And they were saying like there he's not in there anymore. Yeah. There's yeah. this that's it, dude. Bye, Brian. Yeah. Well, you got the asshole brother left. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't want anything to do with him. Yeah. 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 So it was a cool issue. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. MI in, in my, in my 13 kind of showed up. Oh, yeah. They showed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Apocalypse was in there. Um, so apparently the um, th these magic crystals. Yeah. And, um, they were just crystals. They weren't working right. They weren't working right. They basically only had power for a small amount of time. So that wasn't, you know, working for Apocalypse and whatever he was trying to do. Yeah. So that was his reason for recruiting Richter so in the first need, place. Yeah, he needed somebody that can... Um, Richter has an infinite power supply. Whereas the, the rocks that he... The, the stones that he was using to power up the, the magic gates or whatever... Yeah, he was like, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. So he went to get... That's why he went and uh, got Richter. Because he's like... He said he needs a master of stone himself. So he went yep. through the gate and he went to go get Richter. He was like, dude, you come with me. He's like, come on. He basically dragged him through the streets like, come yeah. on, man. And uh, Richter was <laughs> like, Richter was like, but I can't control my power. He was like, there is nothing you can destroy that I can't fix. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was cool. <laughs> that was it was cool because he, he leading them through the streets in New York or wherever yeah. they were. He leading them through and people like, is that a Oh, yeah, because he showed up in Central Park. Yeah, he's like, like, yeah. like, is that a pop? Like, yeah, the, 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 the people kids, was like, yeah, the people, holy yeah. crap. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bailing through. I got somewhere yeah. to go. He's like, he, <laughs> everybody running like, oh, my gosh, it's Apocalypse. Yeah. And he's like, I didn't think about y'all. You, you the presence, you know, whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool, too, that he yeah. was treated with that much, like, reverence. Like, damn, it's Apocalypse, nigga. Well, even apocalypse if you don't know who he is, street. look how big this fool is. He don't, he don't swallow like a... Well, he looked know. like half robot. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. Apocalypse got that, got that like, look. 
You don't like mess man. with him. He look like he, you know, on steroids. <laughs> nah. <laughs> anyway, so the dude, yeah, from MIA 13 showed up at the Keep end because they were looking for um, Captain Britain. Yeah. Well, what is MI 13 anyway? It's the, uh, oh, it's British. Uh, it's like the British CIA. Oh, okay. Well, the dude showed up at the end and was like, hey, we, we looking for Captain... Um, Captain Britain. Yeah. yeah. The Queen needs her her captain. Which is going to be interesting when they realize that they now have a mutant female Captain Britain, but hey. So, we'll see what happens we'll see there. see what happens, so. Yeah. That's how that ended. Yeah. It was cool. No, it was fun. Yeah. Fun issue. Better than the, than the other ones. So hopefully. Yep. We're yeah, it didn't have a gang direction. of magic and stuff. And I want to see what happens. Yeah. I want to see what happens. You know, I want to see them bring Rogue back. I want to see how they're going to get Rogue out of where she is in that um, yeah. catatonic state. Yeah, you know, what's his name? Uh, still upset that they had to go try to find Captain Britain because he laid my woman back over here in a coma and you and you want to go over here. Yeah. So he wasn't... So he got problems at the house. Man. Yeah, he was like, yeah. So he still wasn't happy about that. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. But it was it was, it was was cool. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. But, um, I will say this, though. Like, um, in the issue of X-Men... We got we got them fighting like you know some like older people or whatever. It was a cool issue, yeah. and then this issue we got like Morgan Le Fay, who's not really a big name. What I would like to see is I would like to see like somebody like really big go up against Krakoa. Like it would be interesting seeing like Sandman and Hydro Man attack Krakoa, you know, because Hydro Man controls water, Sandman controls ground. They would have real problems if, if something like that happened. I'm just kind of throwing it out there, and then too, it would also be it would also be kind of cool to see like some big name uh, villain like Doctor Doom or something be like, oh, I want Krakoa, and see like what happens in. I want to see like I well, think I, that's what I'm saying is that I want to see them kind of interact with the other parts of the Marvel universe. But I mean, it's cool. I mean, I'm sure they're setting up foundation stuff now, but that would be like really cool if Doctor Doom or somebody decided that they wanted Krakoa for themselves. Well, whoever decides that they are brave enough to try to go over there and take over Krakoa is going to have a fight because all the mutants are on Krakoa going to band together. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I still would like to see Doctor Doom do some do something like that because you know he, he Doctor Doom is nuts. I would love to see like Doctor Doom versus Apocalypse. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> anyway, just my little side talk. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, well, what would you uh, what are you gonna throw? What are you gonna uh, throw out at this book? What rating? Uh, let me see. Well, well it, it was cool. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. eight. Yeah, I give it an eight. <laughs> it was it was better than uh, than, than expected. Their previous, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I would say about the same. Fun book. It, it was fun. Yeah, I like it. Was it. Fun. Yeah. 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 Like I said, our our week of winners. <laughs> All right. So uh we'll be we'll be back with Marauders. Marauders number three. Yep. All right.